गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन कैन यू सी द स्लाइड फुल स्क्रीन नहीं है स्क्रीन किया मैंने ओके वन मिनट आई जस्ट सी आई डोंट नो व्हाट हैपेंस इसमें क्या होता है now can you see the full screen slide yes and i'll just so move on the slides check whether it's you can see it yes ma'am yes okay thank you okay so good morning everyone today uh, there, there i'll be taking the session on a topic uh, is which is related to the startup so we'll be discussing the concept of starter ecosystem okay so the title of today's talk is concept of startup ecosystem so now when we say startup we we all are aware now i think so each and every student present here is now aware what exactly is the startup but we we look into it and then move on to the startup ecosystem so the outline of the present presentation would be the startups on uh, this what is exactly meant by the startup ecosystem what makes up that means what elements contribute to the startup ecosystem then the history of indian startups and then we look into the indian startup ecosystem okay. so now when we say startup the word now startup has become a mainstream in every sector of of the country so each one of you uh, each one of us are now some uh, can uh, hear or we are usually um, we listen that yeah this is a startup that is a startup this startup has grown up right so what exactly is the uh, what exactly is meant by startup so startup is nothing but a startup is a young company founded by one or more entrepreneurs to develop a unique product or service and bring it to the market so in other way we can say the startup is something where an innovative idea is brought up by one or two members and further it becomes a product which is then launched into the market okay so here we have few of the characteristics or the main characteristic of the startup so the very first um, characteristics we can say is the startup consists of more than one person right then it it always focuses on the growth of its uh, company or we can say startup the startup is not more than that means it it doesn't have more than 500 employees it works with the latest technology most of when we say innovative idea so when we say innovative idea coming into a startup it is something where the latest technology is being used to create some or to uh, generate some product right so innovative idea these are the key characteristics of the startup now what exactly is a startup ecosystem so when we say startup startups do not and cannot exist in a vacuum they are born in a specific context as part of an entity a network a system much bigger than themselves entrepreneurs are supported by a community of people organization and other startups that surround them this is what we refer to as a startup ecosystem so now what exactly is a startup ecosystem startup ecosystem is not a, a we, what we say a startup startup um yeah we have um, two three people coming together with a uh, innovative idea and uh, the startup grows on yes but in order to grow there are certain factors which contribute together hmm, and the growth of the startup is seen this is something what is meant by the which builds the startup ecosystem 
So a startup ecosystem is formed by people, startups in various stages and various types of organization in a location, physical or virtual, interacting as a system to create a new startup companies. Now, what makes up a startup ecosystem? So when we say startup ecosystem, now here in this particular slide, we can see there are certain points or we can say these are the elements which make a startup ecosystem. So those are the very first is the innovative ideas, research, startups at various stages, entrepreneurs, startup team members, investors, mentors, advisors, other entrepreneur people, people from related organization. So these are the key elements or these are the elements which form a startup ecosystem, which the other way we can say contribute in different ways. Those are universities, funding organization, then service providers, research organizations and support organization. So all this contribute for the startup ecosystem elements. So now let's let's uh, look into this um, elements of the startup ecosystem or which the ecosystem which builds a startup and helps to grow the startup mainly it helps to grow the startup with all these features now startups when we say startups startups themselves of course are an indispensable part of any ecosystem they are the nuclei of innovation, disruption, and process. They determine the face of local ecosystem and play an important role in economic growth too. Now, if you, I think so. Now, since you all are third year students, you must be um, aware or you must have come across many of your mentors, many of your teachers must be um, saying, yeah, you have if you have some idea if we do mini projects we do projects if your ideas are innovative yeah you can go you can go with a startup right bring it to a product so there is a motivation where the innovative ideas can go into startups now just now i mentioned that the main element, the main element, the ideas are generally generated through colleges, universities, and other education programs. Now, it would be hard to urge with the stance that colleges, universities provide one of the most important resources for startup ecosystems around the world. And that is what the talent, the young generation now has the talent they have the talent or you people have the talent you people come up with the ideas and those ideas can further be taken as the startups so now at this stage the mentors teachers or all of us should think over that instead of becoming a employee we can we go for a startup right so whenever you think of an idea, innovative idea, think in such a way that you go for the entrepreneurship instead of becoming an employee in a particular organization. So the main contribution in the startup ecosystem is through colleges, universities, and other education programs. Colleges, universities, and other education institutes, such as coding schools, play a fundamental role in nurturing talent and setting the next generation of entrepreneurs and startup employees on their paths. Higher education institutions that offer entrepreneurship studies, courses on management and innovation, digital marketing programs, etc., are paving the way for bright minds to turn their ideas into reality by starting their own business or joining some existing ones. Okay, so just now I have briefed about your ideas can come as a startup right so 
whenever you think of of a particular idea you need to think that if is there any is there something innovative if there is something innovative then your product can sustain in the market so we need to think in such a way that if yeah if i have a idea and i want to go with this idea as a product in the market will the consumer hmm, or the person will buy those product the person will only buy yes if there is something different than the existing one hmm, there is something different than the existing one in the product right now next if we say the third point we have is the fund providers now if we say talent is important part of the startup ecosystem the second element we consider is the money too right if the talent is most important resource for startups money is also a second close second few startups survive for long without an investor or a financial institution to back them which is why they are an essential pillar of every startup ecosystem so the there are fund providers firms such as angel inv investors venture capital firms crowd funding website loans and grants which can be private and government and other funding providers all have their place within an ecosystem so usually when we when we say a startup is started by two three persons so initial investment initial funding is through the angel investors usually now we say angel investors or in some other way we um, the close family friends close family members and friends contribute hmm, to the funding for the startup the next po next point which uh, contribute to the startup ecosystem is the incubators and the accelerators they also play a very important role in the startup ecosystem now, incubators and accelerators are programs that help startups succeed by providing them with mentorship guidance guidance training strategy partnership r&d and funding they are instrumental in getting startups especially early stage ones offer the of the ground having access to an accelerator resource and network can make or break a startup that hasn't cemented itself within the ecosystem the incubators and accelerators often offer a physical space where startups can establish their offices the programs end with a demo day where entrepreneurs can show off their pitching skills to investors and start playing on the big field so what exactly is the role played by the incubators the incubators help provide them resources for the r and d work hmm? some sort of funding also is provided some sort of mentorship is provided right accelerators programs help hmm? help to put skill to the investors what what does that mean a workshops are organized where the talent of or where the skill of the startup or the product of the startup can be placed hmm, to the investors which then further can be launched in the market next 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 point we have is the co working space now just now we saw the incubators and accelerators right they play a important role at the same time incubator can something uh, in the other way we can say the the key point which contribute to the startup ecosystem is co working space now what exactly is meant by this co working space the startup especially in the bootstrapping stage often don't have the funds to afford their own office space they enter co working spaces that means shared offices where startup can rent or desk or private offices for a fraction of price and with no long term commitment so now when the startups are working in co working space they have a added advantage where this the ideas can be exchanged then they can get the help where the if they don't have the resources and some resources are available in that particular working space those resources can be shared so in this way 
the co-working space also adds a plus point in the startup ecosystem. Now here we have the slide where you can see we have the incubator, accelerator, co-working spaces grow year over year, year on year, where you have the figures here. You can see the figures, the overall infrastructure has been increased in it now year the figure is about um, 2015 much more has been added till date okay 280 plus incubators accelerators co-working spaces 40 percent annual growth infrastructure right so as you can see here there is an increasing growth in the co-working space right and maximum contribution is urban concentration where incubators are located in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore. Now next we have is the agencies, consultants and the freelancers. Now the lean startup teams tend to ask for outside help with challenges that they can't solve in in house because they don't have the know how the skills, the tools on the time. That's when consultants come in. Okay, they come in pictures. They are expert in their own fields having previous work with other previously worked with the other startups they bring invaluable knowledge and experience to the table helping early stage startup teams get ahead so now agencies and consultants contribute to the growth of the startups how so the startups can consult with the consultants those who are experienced in the startup fields if they are stuck with some problem the startups are stuck with some problems they can approach the consultants which have the added skills which have the experience of dealing such problems and just the start uh, consultants help early stage startup teams to get a start or to contribute to the growth of the startup next is the advisory organization and mentors now the advisory organization and mentors uh, can be similar to the consultants now it's a fact startups with mentors are more likely to succeed advisory organization and mentors can help founders during the entrepreneurial journals uh, journeys in many ways for one experience successful mentors help you stay accountable and true to your vision their own experience in business is often critical to your success they can help you prepare from the future and for unbiased opinions on critical situations. So the, there are mentors which contribute to the ecosystem, startup ecosystem, which is very, very much needed hmm, to the startup in order to grow. So it's said, it's a fact that startups with mentors are more likely to succeed. Now next, next point is the events. Now. Now, when we say events, whenever a, there's a startup, now that particular startup needs to be brought to the people. So that can be brought. How? By arranging the conferences, workshops, meeting, networking events and parties are all the key to building and maintaining a startup ecosystem. Without events, no ecosystem can survive for long. Okay. So the events also play a main important role in the startup ecosystem. So you can find the heart and soul of every startup ecosystem in its community of people. And the people have to be brought together to form a community. And that can be brought through conferences, workshops, meetings, and thus helps in the growth of the startup. Next, now as we saw, the events needs to be organized, workshops, Along with that, the medias and blogs also play an important role in the startup ecosystem. Now, how do you know when a startup is starting to take off? Journalists pick up the scent and its name starts turning up in the press. PR can be an excellent way for startups to raise awareness about the brand and the latest projects, appearing in the publications with higher authority and a wide reach can get startup on the radar of potential customers, business partners, and investors. That means 
media also plays an important role in the startup growth how the pr can be excellent way for the startup to raise awareness about their brand and their latest pro projects so whenever there is a startup the projects presented needs to be brought to the market so that can be done through print publication online magazine blogs and their respective social media accounts which play a important role in spreading industry news this helps elevate local ecosystems to an international levels now corporations now when we say when um, when we think about the corporation and startup usually we imagine it's imagine ki these are something two different ends of a spec spectrum but now the people has realized that knowledge exchange between the startups and the corporates is a part of powerful symbiosis which strengthens the ecosystem instead of fragmenting it so now people have realized and the corporates are now looking into the startups which helps growth or strengthens the startup which strengthens the ecosystem instead of fragmenting it now the next the next uh, element which uh, we can say play a important role in the startup ecosystem is the support of the government agencies also in support of the government now in every country of the world government agencies regulate business commerce industries and trade departments also have a say in how sta startups can operate okay so in some jurisdictions government policy policies are favorable for startups new businesses can take advantage of tax incentives grants and awards and seek help of the government organization that supports supports the entrepreneurs so there are government schemes which are helping the startups to grow by giving some in incentives where there are tax exemptions usually for the startups there are tax exemptions of initially um initial 3 years and much more incentives are given so now government is also looking into the startups so that much more startups come into the society in order to in order to boost the economy the next point we have is the research organizations now research organizations contribute to a startup eco ecosystem in many different ways for startups in industry like biotech and robotics they can be the, they can be their most important partners but research organization can also affect the startup ecosystem itself by providing the insight needed to spot trends address challenges and focus on strength so this research organization we can relate this research organization with the we can say the um, consultants mentors okay so the research organization also play a very important role or contribute to the startup ecosystem by providing help by solving the problems or um, providing some inputs or giving the inputs to the startup right the next we have is the talent the startup ecosystem are incredible talent magnets a startup hubs mature they bring the best and the brightest business minds developers designers investors the list goes on the cities benefit enormously from this influx highly skilled workers soon change pro projects cross pollination pollinate organizations and start up their own companies it becomes a virtuous circle innovation and economy booms so what exactly is this talent this talent is focusing on the innovative ideas brought up by the startups which helps to boost the economy okay now now till now we have seen the elements or the factors which contribute to the startup ecosystem now let's let's look into the history of the indian startups So when we say history of the Indian startups, nowadays we are we we come across the word startup startup from um, from I think so it's uh, from last three four years. 
but if you look into the history of the indian startups it's long back long back where actually the startups were seen so how it began the startup culture in india began years ago with the advent of the companies like hcl and tcs the technology giants of today started a revolution years ago which made india one of the largest exporters of the software right then the dot com era came into picture in 1986 where the formation of the videsh sanchar nigam limited and the mahanagar telecom nigam limited played an important role in foundation of the dot com era also many of the newspapers went online so in india government launched many online services like e seva and ircpc.com that means many of the portals were online so since from last 4 5 years we are we are hearing the word startup startup yes but there is a long history where initially the there were startups and this startup were motivated the motivation was given to the government with respect to some incentive some tax benefits and so on in the last decade the indian startup ecosystem has seen phenomenal growth with the launch of brands like flipkart and zomato there are much more here i have only placed the two names many startups in india have also been acquired by technology giants like google and facebook which is evidence to the fact that startups in india are doing great work of pushing the technology barriers now next we come into the indian startup ecosystem so now in this particular part what we observe is um the key factors which contribute to the ecosystem how the growth is seen we won't be looking into the exact figures but some of the some of the figures which will give us the idea about how the indian startup ecosystem has improved and many of the startups have added on in the startup list now startup india is a is a government of india flagship initiative to build startups and nurture innovation through this initi initiative the government plans to empower startup ventures to boost entrepreneurship economic growth and employment across the india in the words of prime minister mr Naran, narendra modi we say we have that startup india is a revolutionary scheme that has been started to help the people which will which who wish to start their own business now these people have the ideas and capability so the government will support them to make sure that they implement the ideas and grow so that the success of this scheme will eventually make india a better economy and a strong nation so here the government is also supporting for the startup right startup ecosystem in india now here we have the very important now india has the third largest startup ecosystem in the world expected to witness year over year growth of consistent annual growth of 12 to 15% so what is seen is the growth the annual growth is seen 12 to 15% every year india has about 50000 startups in india in around 2018 and around 8900 to 9300 of this are the technology led startups 1300 new tech startups were born in 2019 alone implying there are two three tech startups born every day so now if you look into the figure we can realize ki how rapid is the growth of these startups going on so as you can see the figures here and the figure mentioned here two three tech startups born every day so there is a huge contribution nowadays or uh, the startup the count of the startups is going on adding day by day now indicator of growth in the startup ecosystem 
the pace of growth in the startup ecosystem has increased to 15% year on year in 2018 while the growth of number of incubators which contribute to the incubators and accelerators right which contribute to the ecosystem has grown to 11% right significantly the number of women entrepreneurs stood at 14% up from 10% and 11% in the previous two years startups in the country have been able to create an estimated 40000 new jobs over the year taking the total jobs in the startup ecosystem to 1.6 to 1.7 lakhs now very important year the bangalore has been listed within world's 20 leading startup cities in 2019 it's also ranked as one of the world's five fastest growing startup cities so as you can see here the figures and the names yeah really the startup in india is growing with a fast pace now fund raising raised by the indian startups the indian startups have gone on to raise sizable ticket sizes from various global and domestic firms the top 15 deals constituted about 40% of the total value demonstrating that most funds are valuing deal quality more than the quantity now now one more important um, point which contributes hmm, to the engine ecosystem is the corporate connect enterprises are now realizing the descriptive potential of startups and are thus partnering investing in them examples of the corporate support are facebook in partnership with the startup india disburse cash grants of about 50000 us dollars to to the top 5 selected startups 10000 women program by goldman sachs it's providing women entrepreneurs all around the world with a business and management education mentoring and networking access to the capital microsoft ventures accelerator program in india has recently picked up 16 startups now all this contribute to the growth of the of our indian economy too government support along with this government support government in india is understanding the value of working with the disruptive innovators across the value chain and using the innovations to improve public service delivery right small industries development bank of india has launched a scheme to provide assistance to existing small and medium business in need of the capital of growth so overall 26 states in the country have startup policies now the government of india is finally promoting the start startup ecosystem with various in, initiatives now we we have already seen we have you must have already come across yeah digital india make in india and startup india this is the motivation given by the government so that the people go with the startup right the benefits like exemption that is tax as exemption funding for startups and much more okay due to the large number of internet users in india entrepreneurs are focusing on the startup that bring innovation to the current service industry so on the other hand due to the presence of e-commerce giants like flipkart and amazon more entrepreneurs are focused forced to focus on tier 2 and tier 3 cities okay now these are something where you can see the government initiatives where you can see there are startup india fund policy reforms for startups startup cells national startup advisory councils okay which tries to build the startup or strengthen the startup ecosystem then atmanirbhar bharat right the atal new india challenge so all these are contributing to strengthen the indian startup ecosystem so here just i point out more than 13000 1300 startups have been supported by the seed funding from the government states in addition to the seed funding 10 states have created venture funds or a funds of funds and 
218 startups have been provided with venture funding support so now what exactly is this seed funding it is the initial capital used when starting a business and venture funds are generally come after the seed funding okay which contribute to the rapid growing or expansion of the companies now here we have the startup lens space in india now as you can see in this particular slide okay here india is the third largest startup ecosystem in the world 20000 startups recognized by bp iit india is the home of 32 unicorns i'll come to this point we have few list of unicorns and what exactly is this unicorn okay then the current median age of founder and entrepreneurs lies between the hmm, lies at only 31 years 29 states and 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 uts have a state startup policies there are 36 regulations have been simplified for the startup ecosystem in india right so as you can see the boom boom in women entrepreneurship is apparent in the growth story of women led by the startups so much more you can see in this particular slide where where in the indian startup ecosystem has been strengthened right now here here there are some of the popular unicorn companies in india so we can see just dial make my trip paytm byju's hike swiggy zomato ola so these are these are very few this are here i have listed very few the next slide i have till 2019 there are 19 unicorns right and previously i have mentioned as you can see here the india has 32 unicorns so now what exactly is this unicorn okay so the valuation of the company with plus 1 1 billion us dollars is something where comes under this unicorn okay so this was about the indian startup ecosystem which has strengthened the indian economy thank you yeah any questions hello ma'am are there any private incubators or accelerators uh, private incubators accelerators yes th there are yeah and as you uh, as you go on the site hmm, there you will find the list of um, private incubators mostly uh, government is supporting them so since the funds are raised there are private incubators and accelerators too and uh, how would you get the support of those incubators or accelerators uh, nay nice. see when we have a startup we uh, we as a startup needs to approach them so there uh, for example incubators say so there if we are we are in a need to do some research so we can get, uh, take the help take the resources of the incubators and do it accelerators will help us to just um, boost our product in the market so in this way we get the support of the accelerators and incubators okay ma'am hello any more questions no questions okay 
so then i conclude the session thank you everyone for attending the session and what i feel is each on each and every one present here as a young engineers need to think about one or the other innovative ideas and bring in such a way that it becomes a startup yes i agree that not all can um, not all the ideas can grow into a startup yes but if we think in one or the other way if we have that um, goal aim and if your idea is really innovative then there you can come with a startup idea so thank you everyone we end with this session thank you ma'am thank you ma'am